Welcome to another video in this channel. In this video, I'll be explaining how to set up two node ETCD cluster using virtual machine. I am using virtual machine in Windows 10 and I have already created two Ubuntu server and virtual machines. Make sure both these virtual machines are in the same network. So in the network settings of these VMs, make sure you have selected bridge adapter and also in the advanced setting, make sure you have selected allow all. Also make sure the another VM has the same setting. Now I have opened the virtual machines and I am in the terminal. I am checking the IP address of both the uh, machines. It has to be in the same network to enable SSH login from the Windows PC. So I have opened a terminal in Windows now and uh, I have already logged into it. To install DTCD, go to this website and click on the releases button. So once you go there, scroll down to the images mentioned there and based on your system, copy the link address and come to the virtual one of the virtual machines and use wget to download that item. Do the same thing in other machine. Also download in the other machine as well. And then you have to extract the tarball and then you will get the actual folder. Now CD into it and uh, you can already see there are etcd and etcd ctl binaries. You have to copy that into the bin folder to easily use them from the command line. And then you can check the version it's already installed now for the next step you have to go to this website and download cfssl which is used to generate certificates for anything uh, related to tls handshakes and then uh, go to the installation page and according to your os select the files and uh, one by one you have to copy the link and then use wget again to download that cfssl um, binary and then also we need cfssl json binary i'm also downloading that now what you have to do is you have to change the permissions in both of these binaries to make it executable And then you have to move this binary to the bin folder with the name CFSSL. Also for the CFSSL JSON. Now we can access the CFSSL from the command line. I'm checking the version here. Do the same thing for another machine as well. I've already done that and then I've moved the file to the bin and I've we can access that from the other machine as well. Now I have to use CFSSL JSON to uh, generate CA certificates for ETCD cluster generation. This is the first CA config JSON file and the contents will be given in the description. And then I have to also create a signing request for this um, CA certificate. So I'm creating the config for that. And then I will already have those files and then using CFSSL Command line, I'm passing the CACSR uh, JSON and also using CFFS, CFSSL JSON with this to create the initial CA files. We can see that CACSR and CA key and CA certificates are already generated. And then in the first node of the ETC, uh, export these variables which are needed for the further commands. This is basically the IP address of both the machines. ETCD1 and ETCD2 and then I am creating now ETCD CSR it's a certificate signing request and then I am pasting these contents make sure you are passing both the IPs of ETCD node here and also you have to mention both these local host and 127.0.0.1 here and then close that file save that and then again use CFSSL to create, uh, to generate the certificates, I'm passing the etcd csr uh, etc JSON file, and also I'm passing ca config JSON file, and I'm saying uh, these are the key and um, uh, certificates for this generation. Now 
Now, if I see the contents, I can already see the etc csr and uh, key and certificate uh, pair in the folder. Now, what I have to do is I have to copy this to the server two, the, the second machine as well. And I am creating folder to copy uh, these files. So I'm creating etcd folder in etc folder. And then I've also created SSL inside that. I'm changing the permissions of that folder. Now using SCP command, you have to copy three files which are highlighted in the last step, CAPM and etcd and etcd keypam. Uh, all those files uh, to the server too. And also make sure you copy these files in the server one machine to this specific folder, etc, etcd, ssl. And then I'm creating that, I'm creating that in the machine one as well. And I'm copying all three files, ca.pem, etcd.pem, and then etcd key.pem to these folders. So now I have all these three files in both the machines in the same etc etcd ssl folder then i will use this folder for further creation now export this variable in each node so that uh, we can execute further um, commands using this variable then i have to create a service systemd service for etcd uh, for that you have to uh, create a service file inside system system d system folder where you can see there are already service files already mentioned so you have to create one for our etcd as well so i'm creating that nano etcd.service and then copying this content here this is the uh, contents for server creation here i'm using etcd command line to also passing etc name node ip which is the ip of the current node and then it is both the IP address of the etcd nodes um, using environment variables and also see that I have also passed uh, these certificate files from the correct folder. All these are required to create the service. Now, um, uh, now to uh, reload the uh, system D, I have to do system CTL daemon reload. Now how to enable the etcd. Once I run this, the etcd should be running behind the scenes and uh, providing us the endpoints. But there is a error here. Now we have the opportunity to debug this error. Now first I'm using systemctl command to see the status of the service. It says it's loaded but failed. And then I am using journal CTL to see the uh, etcd service using minus u command. One of the logs says that uh, error with this kind of a flag. So I have to go to the service and see where is this flag double slash. And then I can see that there, that is between every command in this. Uh, that's the mistake from copy paste. And I'm going to remove all those double slashes. And then again, I see I ran the service and now I can see the etcd is running uh, in the server one machine. So I have to I have to repeat the steps for uh, the second machine as well. And then I have to make this etcd service active in the second machine as well. So now I can use etcd ctl and actually query the etcd endpoints. Also check the health uh, using the etcd uh, ctl command. You can see that it is successful and it is um up now i can also check the metrics from this endpoint also i can replace the metrics with health and it will give me the health of the etc cluster you can see it is true health true and it is healthy both the endpoints are healthy and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put something in the database i'm putting key value pair foo and hello world and then i will be doing a get command for foo and then i get the hello world that means uh, the etcd cluster is uh, active and working well. So in the next video, I'll be explaining about how to monitor these uh, etcd endpoints and then also create a plugin for pulling data from this. Uh, it's called Prometheus and also using Prometheus, I'll be putting all this data into a UI dashboard using Grafana. So stay tuned. There's more coming up in this channel regarding Kubernetes and uh, cloud native applications. Subscribe to the channel if, if you have not already done that and like the video if you really like this. Thank you.